We should do something over the break. We could take a vacation. A vacation would be awesome. I'd have to check with work. Somewhere by the water. In this season? Yeah, it's getting warmer out. We could go sailing, Dad. Hmm. It's just an idea. There's this girl in my grade, Jen Barkley. What about her? I heard she's in rehab. Is she a friend of yours, Miranda? No, I don't know a Jen Barkley. Why would you assume I know her? Oh, come on. You know why he'd assume that. Well, I know I wouldn't want to be her father right now. Kind of harsh, Dad, don't you think? No, I don't. I know what it's like to have a daughter in rehab. Term report cards came in today. Am I going to be happy? I know I'm doing well in my classes. Chad? Let's find out together, shall we? If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get some homework done. Hello? Nothing, you know, just trying to get some homework done. The hell that is my house. Your brother and dad fighting again? Yeah, the usual. Oh, coffee. Yeah, uh, what's up? So, Brendan's brother's back from college and is having a huge blowout tonight. Okay, so I'm out here, so get your ass out here, and um, don't forget to find me. Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. I'm taking you to school. Miranda, don't disappoint me. Dad insists on driving me to school this morning, and so we're sitting there in complete silence, and he goes, Miranda, don't disappoint me. What does that even mean? We love a man of few words. Dude, my father does not stop talking about how much of a disappointment I am. At least yours gets to the point fast. Yeah, but I don't even know what it means. Oh, maybe he found your stash. Don't even joke like that, Maggie. Seriously, Miranda, you just need to chill. Take a hit and calm down. Thanks for the ride home, bro.
when it does. So I guess it's my turn to have one of those famous family kitchen fights. Do you think I don't know what goes on in my own household? Actually, yeah. Knock it off! Bringing drugs into my goddamn house? I should have you arrested. Who the fuck do you think you are? Who do I think I am? Well, you should know, considering you know so much about me. When was the last time we had an actual conversation? And now you're threatening to have me arrested? Fine. Do it. Have me arrested. Don't test me. Don't you test me. I know you won't do it. You ruin your precious reputation. Listen to me, young lady. This is my household, not yours, mine. You cannot talk to me this way in my house. Here, we follow my rules. And since you obviously think you're old enough to live by your own rules, let's see how you make it on your own without my money and my food to provide for you. So that's it. You're just kicking me out just like that? Fine. It seems to make sense considering you seem to care less and less about your family. I am looking after my family. You bringing drugs into this house is dangerous and I will not allow this to continue. I want to see you out of this house tonight. I guess I was right in assuming that I'm not part of this family. You cannot keep staying here. I'm sorry, but I'm running out of excuses to tell my mom. I have nowhere else to go. Jesus Christ, Miranda. Just go home. I can't. Why? Because Daddy yelled at you? These days, everyone has Daddy issues, so just get over it. He didn't just yell at me. He kicked me out. You can't stay here. Look, we all talked about it. Me, Maggie, Chris, and Aiton. We all think it would be best if you just went home. Are you all right, sweetheart? Money for food? How old are you? There's a church near here where you can get a hot meal and a warm bed for the night. You can spend the night here, and the bathroom is down the hall, so you can get cleaned up. Thanks. a note last week and he wrote back to me. I didn't think he would, but he did. Next week we are getting lunch. That is wonderful, Christina. I want to end this meeting by congratulating those with us who have received their nine-month chip and encourage others to reach out to their loved ones, just like Christina has. Have a good evening, everyone. Do 
Dear Dad, in the room that I'm currently staying in, there's a painting that reminds me of when you taught me how to steer a sailboat. That feels like lifetimes ago now. I started going to meetings. I thought I had problems and I listened to some of these people's stories. I got a job. I teach fourth graders religious education and the church is letting me stay in the spare room in the rectory. Out of me.